ladies and gents. Hello, my name's Osmatic and welcome. We are less than 24 hours away now from the launch of a New World, a game that many of us have been waiting for for uh, a long, long time and have been very, very patient with all the delays. But it's finally here. We finally get to play. Day one starts tomorrow. So I thought, as a little helper, potentially for people who have never played before, or recently bought the game, never played in the alpha or the beta, or even if you have played in the alpha and the beta and you're still not sure about what direction of travel to take, I'm hoping that these five steps will help you make the decisions that you can do now. So it will save you time in game, cogitating over what direction of travel you want to take. So these are my recommendations. You don't have to do this. You can still just go into the game and play around and find your feet yourself. But if you want to, you know, New World is a game that demands uh, a very acute use of your time to be very efficient in your XP and leveling process. So these are the five steps I suggest that you can take now before the game launches so that you are ready to go. Step one, know your build. So it sounds fairly simple. It's actually not, but I'm going to run through what I've done to prepare. So I know the weapon sets that I'm going to take. My primary weapon will be the life staff. So use this world, this website. It is uh, newworldfans.com. And then you go to forward slash builds or click on the link for builds, which is at the top of the page here. Okay. Uh, this will take you to this page. You can actually make your build before you even start playing the game and save it. So if you want to see what your build is prior to launch, you can come here. So I'm picking my primary weapon as a life staff and I'm taking a mix of heal and protection. Um, this is for survivability during the leveling process. Okay. I also know that my second weapon set will be sword and board. Sword and board is the, uh, is the weapon set you start out with as soon as you enter the game anyway. So I don't need to worry about trying to find the right weapon. I'll start off with one of the weapons, but Here's the thing I suggest, know which weapon you're going to level primarily first. So given that my life staff will be my primary weapon, this is what I'm going to be using to do most of the damage output and uh, grinding process, certainly, certainly through to about weapon level between seven and 10, maybe 11. Uh, once I've got a really good foundation for uh, self-sustain, survivability and healing, I'm then gonna start to throw in sword and board as part of my rotation. But this site's really good because it helps you pick the individual skills that you will need that make your build unique. So I suggest newworldfans.com forward slash builds start to make uh, all the decisions that you're going to have to make in game anyway about what weapons you can, you're can you going to use. Now you can just go in and play and dabble around with the weapons and try a little bit of spear and a little bit of hatchet and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's fine if that's how you want to play, but if you want to hit the ground running, this is my suggested route. Secondly, same website, just scroll up a little bit from your weapon sets. Oh, by the way, in here, when you want to pick your weapon set, you just click on this tab and then click on the drop down. There, choose your weapon. Uh, secondly, um, in within the weapons and builds element is know where you're going to put your points as you level up. So for example, when you hit level two, level three, level four, know where you're going to drop your points. So for me, for example, I may only at level three, four, five, potentially still only have the sword and board, but I'm going to be put my points into focus because I know that my life staff will be my primary build. I'm having some secondary points in strength for the leveling process. This probably won't be the build at max level, but for my leveling process, I'm going to have lots of points in focus and a little bit of smidgen in strength. Now, you will also get bonus points from the gear and items that you gather. So if, for example, like me, you think you're going to need a little bit more constitution to, to stay, <laughs> to be more survivable, you can get that from gear and items. So don't worry too much. But knowing your direction of travel and your weapons uh, and your build is really going to help you hit the ground running. As soon as you get in the game, you know what you're going for. OK, step two. And the next three are kind of intrinsically linked, so I'll go through them one at a time. Crafting. If you plan on crafting, and I strongly recommend that you do have some crafting skills in the game because um, if, certainly for the majority of the game, this is where you're going to be able to have more accessible uh, skills. Uh, I, sorry, YouTube. Don't want that advert on. Um, so my suggestion is this is where we start. Let me just get to a different. There we go. That's better. 
So I'm going to give you my decision making that I've made already so you can follow the kind of process that you follow, that I followed. I know that I'm going to focus on consumables. I know that I'm going to want to craft my own life staff, staves particularly. Um, and so my chosen crafting skills are arcana because that will give me the ability to craft both life staff and fire staff. Um, not that I'll be using fire staff, but I may want to grind on it and sell some. Um, it will also give me access to potions. So um, I will go for arcana. And then again, going down the consumables route, I will also be taking cooking okay now it's really important to make your decisions if you if you would want to be prepared day one to, to make these decisions now so that you know what gathering skills you're going to take and i'm going to come on to gathering in a short while but for me i'm going to be doing arcana and cooking and then finally i'm also going to take armoring because armoring involves uh also making light armor medium armor and heavy armor so each of those three tranches of armor types under the overall banner of armoring require very different gathering skills. So I'm going to be taking armoring, but I know that I'm going to be crafting both light and medium armor for myself. So one, two, three, those are my crafting skills. So that's point two, pick your crafting skills. That's really important, which leads on to point three, your gathering skills. So you want to be able to craft stuff, You've got to gather the resources to do it. Standard MMO fare. So for me, for example, I'm going to be um, cooking. So for cooking, I need harvesting. Harvesting is also really good because that means I can gather uh, hemp and hemp can make linen and linen can make light armor. Okay. Um, fishing. Fishing is another one because fishing can give me oil for food. It also gives me, um, there are some fish that you can use in arcana recipes as well. So going back to my crafting skills, I know, for example, that fishing, and, and if you click through on, on these, they'll give you a description of what they're used for and how to do it and stuff like that. So um, it's all, it's this, this is uh, newworld.fandom.com. This is the wiki, uh, forward slash wiki. Um, oh, adverts, lovely. Go away. Go away. Anyway. So for me, fishing for cooking in arcana, harvesting for armoring and, and cooking, and some arcana, and then finally skinning, because one of the byproducts of skinning is um, the leather for uh, my armoring, which I've already said I'm going to do, but it also gives me meat for cooking. So you can see now building that picture up, knowing what crafting skills I'm taking, armoring, arcana, and cooking, my gathering skills, and then fishing, harvesting, and skinning. Now there will be some instances where you need some wood, at tiers one, two, and three, that's not really a big deal. You can probably gather that yourself. But once you start to get to the higher tiers, it's going to become more onerous. And if you're going through the leveling process and you want to stay as efficient as possible, really focusing on the things that you need for your skills and then buy the rest on the trading post. Okay, so you're done crafting. That's point two. Point three is your gathering. The last one is refining. Not all, but some of the crafting requires you to refine the resources before you can access them. So my suggestion is, and again, I'm going to take my example, is I need weaving and tanning. Okay, tanning I need to make leather, to make medium armor for my armoring. Weaving, I need to, to turn the hemp into linen. I need to make um, silk. So uh, when I'm making light armor, these are the two refining skills that I need. So you can see already that I'm starting to build a picture. I know what I'm going to be crafting. Therefore, I know what I'm going to be need to gather when I'm playing. So if I see a node of something to gather, I know I'm going to go for it or not. That also links in with the type of tool that you need. And I'm not going to go into the details of the stats and bonuses that each tool can give you or you can have on a crafted tool. But for example, I know that I'm going to need uh, a sickle to gather and I know I'm going to need a skinning knife. So getting those things again to be able to gather. And this, this again is uh, the newworld.fandom.com wiki. Again, all the information's here. So if you want to know what you need to, to do tanning or stone cutting, you can just go there and it will tell you. So that's number four is your refining. Now the, uh, there's another map that I need to show you, which will really help you here. Uh, this is newworld-map.com. This is a really good map to show you all of the important sort of locations in the game. Now, again, I'm I'm going to be doing uh, cooking, arcana, all the blah blah blah, all the stuff I've just said. Right. So, if you go to this map, you click on hide all. Sorry, let me get you to the right browser window. That's better. Um, 
You click hide all, you've got nothing. So for example, I want to know where I'm going to be gathering my resources. Most of it's plants. I can just click on the things that I need here, herbs, silkweed, wildfire, etc, etc. Okay, so that means if my starting location is here, and I, I really hope that it is because this is one of my favourite areas, I know that on this beach I can gather loads of herbs for cooking. Now herbs are a slight anomaly because herbs are location specific, so the herbs that you gather here will not be the same as the herbs you gather here. So for cooking, for example, you need to travel around the starter zones. but knowing your starter location is really important uh, and then link to this map and you will find the locations of all the items that you if you want to grind out resource gathering that's where you do it and the final step step five there's two points here really but they're kind of linked again knowing how you're going to make money so I found a lot of little things in the uh, in the beta that really helped me make money quickly at the start of the game when the servers launched. Uh, I'm not going to give away all of my secrets because the last time that I did that, I was accused of crashing prices on the server with one of my YouTube videos in Dual Universe. So what I will say is this. Find those little niches of money making. Use the trading post. Look at the prices. For example, I'll give you a staple. Health potions. If nobody is making Arcana, it, like past two tiers two and three people may not want to invest time in arcana so selling health potions they sell for low prices but water is freely available you know so you can make a lot of health potions if you just gather hemp uh sorry herbs and whatnot you can make a lot of health potions and they sell them sell them in volume um I'll give you another little tip. This is another little tip that I found uh, in the open beta. This is one of the secrets for free and it's probably going to stop it'll stop me using it now. But um, there's a fishing quest and for that fishing quest you need to gather bait and you gather the bait just by gathering from the bulrushes around the water. Um, I found that that bait was selling in Windsward, um, well on the, on the trading post, for seven gold a pop because people just wanted to throw money at the quest. And, and, and it's a good idea if you're just focusing on getting through the quest. You don't want to spend time searching through the bulrushes. So I was selling in the very early stages um, fishing bait that I had gathered for free for seven gold a pop. And it took you know a little bit of my time, but it was making money for me. So again, going back to what I said about New World Demands you uh, is a very acute use of your time. If I'm gathering and I know I'm going to make money from the stuff that I've gathered, then... Um, it's not a problem. I don't mind investing that time because it's going to make me money. But there's really one important point about making money and why you should do the the um, the invest time in trading and making money is because the sooner you get to 2,000 gold, the sooner you can buy your house and the house opens up an additional option for fast travel for you. Now, fast travel uses a resource called Azoth and that's really expensive in the early stages, fast travel. Um, and when you get to uh, travel longer distances in later game, it can start to become quite demanding in terms of Azoth and how much you need to spend to fast travel. So get your money really quickly, get to 2000 gold as a target and at least get yourself the start at home, which was in the beta, 2000 gold. If the prices stay the same for live, get that 2000 gold, throw it at your house, and then you have an additional fast travel option, which is uh, it's a, a lifesaver in the early stages. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick summary. Before launch tomorrow, my suggestion is if you want to be really efficient with your time, pick your weapons and builds using this website, newworldfans.com forward slash builds. And then pick your crafting, pick your gathering, know what you need to do to be to refine sorry that one know the areas where you're going to gather the items using the newworld-map.com i'll put the links down below by the way and then know your money making scheme and that's it i really hope that's been helpful uh, i have made all my decisions i'm ready to go i just need the servers to go live now and to get in I'm hoping I can see as many of you as possible in the game tomorrow. We're playing on the Nilfelheim server in the EU and uh, we will have our own company. And uh, I will put a link to Discord below if you want to join us. Please just jump on the Discord and uh, get hold of me in game or any of the other guys on Discord. And uh, good luck. It's going to be fun. I'll see you then. Bye.